So, Virgo, let's see what is going on. We have give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership, engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. A little bit of conflict going on here. Um, there could be an engagement like you could already be engaged or in a higher level of commitment with somebody and some red flags could be popping up. Um, this could be encouraging you to give your relationship a chance, all right? Um, or you could be new in a relationship and you're seeing red flags, but maybe it's suggesting just give it a chance. This could lead to a higher level of commitment, okay, uh, Virgo? So let's get into it and see what's going on. What is going on with Virgo's person, current energies, Four of Swords, healing, Nine of Wands, Page of Wands. Eight of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like your person here, um, if there is, if this is like love and separation or you guys had a falling out, something along those lines, I feel like this person does want to heal this with you. All right, Virgo, I feel like they do want to kind of keep fighting for this connection and maybe have like a young fun, passionate, new beginning, you know, like let's put the arguments and the hard times behind us and let's kind of have this fun, flirty, fiery, passionate new beginning here. You might receive a message from this person saying that like, I don't want to lose you or let you go. I want to kind of be more playful instead of so serious in this connection, um, which that could have been the red flags here uh, going on uh, if they were a little bit too serious, um, not really enjoying the moment fully. Um, that could be a message for you as well, Virgo. Energies can be flip-flopped and reversed. So I feel like this Eight of Cups um, is kind of saying like your person wants to walk away from that serious, mm, tough energy here. And they want to just kind of restore it and have fun is what I'm sensing. So what else do we have for Virgo's person in love? What else is going on? Current energies, six of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like they really want to balance things out, give reciprocity, equal give and take. Um, maybe that's what was going on before. Things were very much unbalanced. You could have felt like Virgo, you were doing all the work and they weren't really doing anything. You were making all the effort and they were just kind of in their own little world, you know? Uh, but let's see, what are blockages here for Virgo? Blockages, yeah, Ace of Cups. So unrequited love is at the bottom of this deck here. And then new love or brand new beginning in love is being blocked. So I feel like, Virgo, there was definitely some kind of an emotional blockage here um, when it comes to this connection. Maybe like a heart-to-heart -heart conversation is needed or an expression of love is needed here. Seven of Cups. Someone could have been leaving their options open instead of committing to this connection. The Hanged Man, Pisces Energy. Yeah, I'm feeling a very like almost stubborn, stuck, selfish kind of energy coming off here. Like this person maybe wasn't ready to settle down or commit and wanted to leave their options open. The world, yeah. It's like they didn't want to, they were struggling to start a new cycle in love with you, like a solid, committed cycle. Uh, I feel like they were maybe kind of hanging on a little bit to like their youth or their singlehood or, you know, just not being fully committed to something that equal give and take. And you may have kind of felt Virgo like, well, then I'm going to just go my own way, you know, and that could have gotten them thinking here. But let's see. How does this person truly feel about Virgo? How does this person truly feel towards Virgo? Tough energies, man. We got the full moon, Mercury retrograde ending. It's it's very tough energy, especially when it comes to like communication. It's been struggling for a lot, a lot of signs. King of Swords. 
uh, Aquarius energy, Gemini, Libra. This is how they feel about you. So they could feel like you're very cold and cut off, uh, very um, wanting the truth, the whole truth, very just. You're looking for the balance. Um, again, you could be just coming off as cold or very blunt when you speak to this person, which rightfully so if they deserve it, you know. And then the moon, Cancer, Pisces energy. They could feel like things are just so unknown when it comes to you, Virgo. Or they have secrets and you're kind of digging the secrets up for some of you. You're getting to the truth of the matter, you know, like you're trying to find out what the heck is going on here, which is probably why you're watching Tarot, right? Trying to find out what's going on. Page of Swords. For some of you, there's an age gap, all right? Um, if not, I feel like, yeah, you're doing, they, they see you spying on them or, or researching things or looking things up um, and possibly causing you to hold back from them. An Ace of Wands. They're very attracted to you. I can feel that at the beginning. Like, they want that fun spark that you know to be reignited and how they feel about you i feel like there is that passion and attraction when it comes to you but i feel like there there was a lack of commitment here on their part they weren't they were tunnel visioned with that hanged man i that's being blocked i feel like they had no clarity or a change in perspective and i feel like they had like tunnel vision like this is just how i am and this is how my relationships go, you know, I'm, I do what I want. I'm non-committal, and you know what I mean? I keep my options open and, but I feel like that might be changing here. I feel like that might be changing. Let's see, what's the potential outcome here for Virgo? Potential outcome. Yeah, okay. I need a different deck for that. Potential outcome here for Virgo. I say potential outcome, you guys. Keep in mind, everyone has free will. You can make different choices, but this is from how this energy is going, what the potential outcome could be for you, all right? Ooh, all right, well, we have temperance, Sagittarius energy, eight of pentacles, six of cups, nine of cups, and three of wands. Uh, I feel like in divine timing, all right, with temperance, something about being patient, in divine timing, things will happen. Um, I feel like this person does reminisce and think about you and you them. I feel like you're both thinking about each other. Uh, you could have known each other since childhood or, or known each other for a while. Um, but I feel like there's nostalgia, there's memories, you know, looking back at old pictures and fun times. And I feel like feel like the the universe is trying to put this connection together but it starts off with like having patience and ends with waiting you know what I mean and in between it's like eight of pentacles putting in the work and effort and reminiscing nostalgia and then a wish fulfillment here with the nine of cups so I feel like it's saying you know this it, the universe is trying to nudge you two together but be patient all right. It's like the universe is like, we're working on it here. Okay. We're working on this for you. All right. This is a wish come true for you. But there probably had to be a separation or some kind of a lesson. Somebody I feel had to learn something. I am sensing kind of like a karmic connection here where there was a lesson that needed to be learned. But then I feel like when you come back together, it will make you stronger. You know, that don't know what you got till it's gone type of thing. That kind of energy. All right, what's the biggest obstacle Virgo will have to overcome? Intensity. The source. Yeah. The universe is trying to help you. And they're probably sending you intuitive downloads or intuitive hits. All right, listen to your intuition. Um, I feel like this connection was completely, like, intense. 
Um, right now, I feel like overcoming this aloneness, you know, embrace it, reflect, go within, become that hermit energy, all right? Pull your energy back, reflect, go within, change your perspective, get your own clarity, closure from within, all right? Um, then we have the miser and harmony. Somebody could have been a little bit set, too set on material items, possessions, uh, someone could have been a little sneaky with money or finances, um, something along those lines. You'll know, place that where you see fit. And then overcoming all of this, this probably intense, insane attraction or pull towards each other that you have for them and, and embracing that alone time um, to find that harmony and that balance, okay? All right, what else for Virgo? What else do we have for Virgo advice? Virgo chaser in pursuit, convincing rejection. Let them go and let it be. Yep, so right now embrace that aloneness, okay? Let it go, let them be. You know, don't try to keep chasing and chasing because I feel like that pushes them away. Just be quiet for a little while. And then watch, I feel like they're going to try and that they're going to end up chasing you, you know, got to play that game. <laughs> I hate that game. Fifth dimension, intuitive communication. You are connected at the soul level. Yes, this is a soul bond. And that's why the universe is so involved here. Your guides, spirit angels, all of that. That's why, because you guys could be communicating in the fifth dimension. I feel like your pre-birth plan, you guys signed up to meet each other across paths during this lifetime. So... But again, there's free will, there's lessons, you know, so all of that comes into play here. Anything else for Virgo? Pause. See? Pause. Take a break. Inaction, calmness, step back, wait for the sign. So this is just confirming everything that I've said, you guys. Just pause. Listen to your intuition, okay? They're probably trying to communicate. Yeah, material world, money, career, status, third dimension. There, There's somebody here, whether it's you or them, that was too concerned on material items. Or I feel like it's your person because they're so blocked off. Um, I feel like they were more concerned about money, finances, material status. You know what I mean? That kind of a thing. Um, unawakened, unaware, 3D ego, darkness, your twin flame is not ready yet. See, they're going to come around because then blessings, protection, attention, love, your guides are always with you. This is a blessing in disguise. I'm telling you, Virgo, because I feel like this person just needed to learn a lesson and, you know, don't know what you got till it's gone. They needed a wake up moment, an aha moment. All right. And then union, reconciliation, eternal love. Your time has come. And it's going to be, come back stronger than ever. This is destined to happen. All right. It's like a date with destiny. So stay calm, you know, just focus on you and loving yourself. And the more love you give to yourself, the more you attract it from others. So <laughs> engagement ring. Engagement, partnership, commitment, completion, union. We have engagement, engagement, union, union. I'm telling you, this is going to level up. You're going to be pleasantly surprised. This is a good reading overall, Virgo. I know it probably sucks going through it, you know. Well done there. The chaser, again. Chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. If that's you, I feel like it might be a little bit you. <laughs> uh, just take that step back, that pause, all right? And find yourself, love yourself, focus on you. I feel like that's the, your lesson right now is to focus on yourself and your self-love. And their lesson is to not be so materialistic and care about the status and care about what other people think and care about all of that, that, that doesn't matter in the end. And I feel like that's their lesson. Okay. Stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. Yeah. They could have done something, you know, 
that stabbed you in the back. They could have, you know, strung you along, love bombed you, gaslighted you, any of that stuff, made you think that this was going to turn into something and then boom, like it hit you like a tower moment, right? So, um, but I do see it coming back, um, probably stronger than before, because I feel like you both are learning something here. So um, they're just not ready yet, but there's a lot of repeating cards. So that just clarifies to me that it will come back and it will level up. So Virgo, that is what I have for you. 